VidCode was built to solve a pretty, pretty specific problem, which was beyond just schools, but really a cultural problem, which is the lack of participation of women and girls in the field of computer science. Another problem it solves is the same kind of issues we were looking at um, with attracting girls to coding is the same issues anyone who doesn't maybe immediately identify with coding experiences. And that's boys, girls, teachers, parents, all of us, right? Creates a space where students can bring their interests into computer science and coding, especially students that might have other interests like video production, fashion, math. And so I think a lot of the kind of user experience and curriculum metaphors that we built in because of our mission of diversity have helped anyone who's starting to code for the first time. Our story at VidCode really begins with the three of us as co-founders meeting at a hackathon in January of 2014. I'll never forget. I, I remember specifically when I first met Allie and she presented this idea about getting girls to connect to technology through things that were really creative, like storytelling and scrapbooking. And as she was speaking about it, uh, I knew that it was something that I really wanted to collaborate on. And so uh, I was in combination with her and Leandra and a couple of other of our uh, early teammates that we were very clearly aligned on wanting to create this online platform for kids to know that coding is creative, that it's really different than what I think they perceived it to be. The schools can use and work with VidCode in so many ways. Two of the main ways are as a really core computer science offering. Um, we have curriculum, hundreds of hours of coursework and, and lesson plans um, for any teacher, especially those that don't necessarily come from a technology background to do it. And another really cool way is teachers are using VidCode in other subject areas, in math and art. Um, because it's a creative tool. So it's a way for them to kind of replace a traditional project, like a PowerPoint, um, with a creative coding project, which is a really cool way um, that we see it used in schools. There are schools that just use us for one tutorial, um, one hour, once a year. And that's the way that students are gonna get exposure. And that's awesome. There are also schools that spend a whole year teaching students JavaScript for their courses. And I think a lot of teachers in schools appreciate that they are able to kind of get up and running fast and really quickly with our classroom in a box model. So how they could can be used in a cross-disciplinary way across schools is a ton of different ways. But what we've seen to be really successful is when a school decides to run, let's say a semester long JavaScript course, one teacher, and then you might have a couple teachers from social studies or math or art who are also passionate about every kid at school having the opportunity to code. And so uh, when those teachers come together, we have VidCode work with them one-on-one -on -one to help recommend which part of the content, which part of the coursework um, to start working with right away. And then they really build their kind of own community within the school and in offering our cross-disciplinary uh, coursework. It means that they're using coding in math class and in science class and in the humanities. Um, so it's really interesting to see how even teachers who are totally new to coding, but expert in their domain, have found ways to really embed coding as just another tool for students to show what they know on any subject. Our ambitions for VidCode is really to see it as the teen coding platform around the world. When we started, our goal was to teach 20 million students how to code. Uh, now I feel like we could probably reach more than that. No matter if you think you're a technology person or not, there is a place in your life to learn coding. And so if we can do that for 10 to 20 to 50 million more students, um, I'd be pretty happy. Next, we're getting really excited for this time period where teenagers are learning it by themselves outside of school as well. And not just, again, the small percentage, all students, all teenagers learning how to code both inside and outside of school. And we see VidCode as being the solution for that.